Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out SF9's All Solo Mio music video and the dance practice. So it's been a while since I did an SF9 reaction, but I've been watching Kingdom and they've started to grow on me a lot more. Seeing, you know, the personalities and charisma and then their, their performances. So I was really curious about this particular song because if you guys aren't watching, then you should. <laughs> Even for their performances and like on the Mnet channel, you don't have to watch a whole show, but like, so basically what happened was that in the second challenge, the challenge was to switch songs with another group and the boys picked them to switch with. So the boys did also the meal and when they were doing the previews of like the original, which was SF9, I was like, damn, it's Latin concept. And you guys know how much I love Latin concept in songs. So I am here for it. And I am very excited to see this for background. I have done tango, I've done salsa. I can't wait to see this. So let's go. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my reactions for Kingdom, it is available on my Patreon. Links down below. Okay, here we go. Two, this was launched in 2017. Oh my god. Oh, there's no subs. Oof. You know what this reminds me of already? Zorro. One of my childhood favorite movies. The one with Antonio Banderas. Oh my god. That one? The other one's Ron. Uh, I only know some. For yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, this freaking drop is insane. Oh, that kick! Mind you, to go down on that kick, it's, it's all, it takes a lot of energy, and then to get back up. Oh! Whoa, that's Oh my god. This is a good song. Oh my god. I'm gonna put this on my Spotify. That transition is so good. That the pre-chorus to the drop. Yeah. This is definitely my favorite SF9 song now. Oh. Okay. Th these are so genius. Like, the fluidity is the way they're doing that kind of move. This is gorgeous. Where did they where did they where did they film this? Ooh! A turn! Fingertip. Man. Yes. Okay, I can't wait to see the dance practice for this. Ooh. So before we get to the dance practice, FNC, we did a collaboration before for P1 Harmony. Um, yeah, for SF9, I am open to do another collaboration. 
Uh, b before we get to this, I, I think the reason why I'm so catapulted by Latin-based uh, genres and choreography and artists and um, sound, music, shows, like for, for shows, um, Grand Hotel on Netflix, if you guys want like an amazing love story drama in, in that is um, Spanish, definitely I would highly recommend that one. Watch it like twice already. Um, but I think the reason why is because growing up, one of the first things that I watched was Zorro. And I think that like with with Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. And that was such a that was such a great movie and I and it's so timeless too cuz like you know how sometimes when you watch old movies and then you watch it again it's like not as good anymore but like this one it stands in on its own and i was like why have they not done like a tv show for zorro yet like it's just it's good um anyway <laughs> okay we're gonna dissect this thing i don't know a lot of terms like i don't know i didn't study latin i just performed some so i don't know the technicalities but i do know the creative aspects wait i'm talking yes so like this this is a lot of traveling already and because they're starting from the ground it's always um, interesting to, to start from the bottom and then do make your way up to standing um, but these things it's a lot of energy already right off the top because like I think the trap would have been or the more cliche thing to do is because even because the, the vocal is so smooth right the um, the trap would have been to do it slowly and and more graceful in the beginning that's always like it's not a bad thing but that's that would have been more of a cliche beginning um but here they were quite energetic and punchy right off the bat like smooth and then like the turns and like these kind of punches it's it's and like those turns again and this part, they're all quite punchy. So the choreography is leaning into um, like the in the in between the moves. It, they're you they're using the the beats and like the instrumentation, and then the ends of the moves is more on the vocal. See you see that boom boom instrumentation, and then. Okay. Do do do. Right. There's a lot of symmetry here with boom. Right. So that that aspect, boom. Actually, it's very common in uh, competitive dancing. Um, the ones that you kind of like travel to places for for dance competitions. Um, it's because it creates this big impact and it's like almost like a reveal and it just explosive, silently explosive. Boom. Like, it's a reveal. Right? It's so punchy. The first verse is already quite energy consuming. Oh, yes. The angle of this camera, I wish it was more level. <laughs> Hold on, I'm like taken away the song. I can't. <laughs> oh! Okay, so they actually had it in their costumes. It's like a robe. That's good. It's good that they that they have that because I thought it was just like a polo shirt that's like normal because like here you can, it's, it looks like one of those things that you do um, wear on the daily but it's a robe and it has like that flare so it's actually good that they put this here because or use it here because you're dealing with some sort of props. So in um, that's actually very common in Latin genres, Latin uh, dance genres. So with with um, if you guys go to like uh, a dance class that is for salsa, for tango, 
especially the women, you will have some sort of like a fake skirt or if not, if it's not a real skirt, like something that you would just like tie. Like it'll go wrap, wrap around your um, your waist and then you tie it and then now you have like a skirt. You can be wearing jeans, you can be wearing tights, leggings, whatever. And then it'll just be like that, um, the skirt part. And that is because the the movement and the flow of the dress and the and the clothing it really is embedded in the music and genre itself you use it as your own body part it's part of you so it, it doesn't just fling <laughs> right there's choreography to it there's beauty in it right so this is kind of like what they did i guess with um that robe um i haven't seen this type of uh cape like robe i've i've seen capes but i haven't seen a robe kind of situation so I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same um but this kind of stances it's so graceful and it just really helps that they're so tall and statuesque so the movements is just so good and you can tell that they really kind of um, like the Latin parts like that <laughs> the, the, um, the stomp the kick uh, it's just yeah it's, so, it's just so nice to see the k-pop choreography um, they like with this one the the turn it's like an uh, like an axle like in figure skating that kind of jump that part so as you see, they they have a momentum. So this is the momentum. And then they use that momentum to, to spin in the air while both feet are kind of up there. And then it switches. So it's very, it's very ab abrupt, but there is a suspension up in that uh, jump. Right, and then this is more in the ballet position. No, no, sorry, jazz position. So uh, ballet position is like this, like this is your knee, and then jazz, sorry, sorry, oh my God. This is, so this is a jazz position. Um, the knees is up in the front, and then ballet would be more like, okay, I can't do it with my, <laughs> with my fingers, <laughs> like this. <laughs> More like this. There you go. It's more to the side. <laughs> I I mean the only thing for this, um, especially because it like it's not hinted. It's evident that this is Latin inspired, right? So um, what I would have probably done as a choreographer so this isn't really like their fault what i would have done as a choreographer i would have probably just polished that upright position maybe it's because of the camera angle it's downwards if it was maybe like a little bit lower then maybe i could see it but like in those in this kind of this part i would have probably wanted a little bit more uprightness um taeyang where's taeyang is he here i can't because i know taeyang is like he has that kind of um, uh, body language and body postures and uh, based off his solo for the Mnet intro or the, the yeah, the solo pieces. Um, yeah, I would have just wanted a little bit more kind of like that. I, I don't know how to describe it, but really, you know, upright position, <laughs> long necks lower your um your shoulders uh kind of like with navalera and song kong is like lower your shoulders boom right because they're mixing like hip-hop and spanish influence here That's the imagery is so cool. Like look at that. Hello. This freaking song though. Oh. So synchronized, so strong. It's like there's angst and edge, but beauty in some cases too. 
It's still very manly. Ooh, just some shoulder shimmy. <laughs> nice. And so here, this is important. Like, th I love that they leveled that. I think it really helps that they're all tall. Um, they're all the kind of like similar height. So with this, it's you really got to pay attention with um, the levels of this because if it's not leveled, it's going to look messy, especially because you have this kind of extension to, to you. Um, and it looks and you can tell that they really worked on leveling this. Jump. Whoa! The stomps is so good because it's like so unison. Yeah. Wow, that's very explosive. Like this freaking slide. Whoa. Right? Like it's just, it's scraping your knee. So actually, the knee doesn't touch the floor. There's a there's a um, trick to it. It looks like they are, but it's they're not because you got to preserve your knees. <laughs> um, so you kind of you definitely have to kind of push your use your right hand depending on where like how you're um, which direction you're turning, using your right hand or left hand to kind of lift up a little bit, and then the rest of your body, your core, your sides to really. Um, move it <laughs> to really move it um and then um having that momentum too so that you slide so it's like a like a swing right you can't swing just like by staying it coming from the center like you have to go forward and then back um to to swing but if you have somebody pulling you you can have a bigger swing and then let go and then boom you're off there. But look at this. Look at this body line. So graceful. They're really picking those areas where they're graceful and when they go hard. Which is quite hard actually for... Um, which is actually quite hard for a lot of dancers because genres aren't usually mixed. And if you're going to do a choreography with both fluid movements and genre and, and you know, like the more upright positions, it's hard to break it in the middle of the choreo or the dance to go more like crumping and hip hop, right? It's very difficult. Definitely, it, it's achieved by a lot of practice. And we know that a lot of these uh, K-pop groups, they prepare months in advance. And some people take like a whole month for, for the choreo alone, right? So this is why I'm always like, if you can train different styles, do it. Um, if you're if you're if you have the the resources and the money to train ballet and, and more technical based choreography, do it definitely because you become so much more influenced by different dance styles. So that you, like I, I it's okay if you can only do hip hop, but it's it's quite limiting if you want a full dance career. So if you guys see a lot of, if you guys wanna be like backup dancers um, to, to, to big artists, or if you wanna be in Broadway, in musicals, if you want to be on TV shows like Disney's Descendants, right? A lot of those, you need to be able to be versatile. You need to be, you need to be able to do technical movements as well as, you know, broken down hip hop crumb kind of styles. Of course, some people can specialize. I'm sure, of course, there are a lot of exceptions, but if you have the resources, definitely go for a more versatile point of view. Your career will thank you for it later. Uh, back to uh, the, this song, it's just, it's so good. It's so, definitely my favorite SF9. Like, I, I have 
Midnight Road, Echo, like those are like kind of the B-sides that I listen to and I have them on my Spotify because I love those songs. Um, but this is, I feel like, my favorite title track from them. Great vocal, love the, love the flowy parts and, and the beautiful parts as well as the hard parts. I love everything about it. So good. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, Kingdom Reactions on my Patreon because I'm watching the whole show. Um, it's not just like performances. It's the whole show, so I get to see the interactions and stuff like that. So you guys are, if, if you guys are interested, links down below. Well, thank you guys for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.